Microsoft Access is an information management tool. It helps to store information for reference, reporting, and analysis. Microsoft Access helps to analyze large amount of information and manage the related data more efficiently compared to Microsoft Excel or other spreadsheet applications. It is important to note that Microsoft Access is a relational database management system, often referred to as RDBMS. A relational database refers to a database that stores data in a structured format using rows and columns. This makes it easy to locate and access specific values within the database. It is relational because the values within tables are related to each other. Microsoft Access has three components. Jet Database Engine, Graphical User Interface, and Software Development Tools. JET stands for Joint Engine Technology. It's a database engine on which several Microsoft products have been built. A database engine is the underlying component of a database used to store a collection of information on a computer in a systematic way. Graphical user interface is a type of interface that allows users to interact with electronic devices through graphical icons and visual indicators. Software development tools are the processes that are used to split the software development work into distinct phases or stages with the intent of better planning and management. Before we dive into Microsoft Access database, we need to learn few database terms. First, what is a database? A database is a collection of information that is organized in such a way that it can be easily assessed, managed, and updated. Every database contains at least one or more than one tables. A table is a structure used to organize information just like we do it on a paper. Each table in Access Database contains information about a single entity, and that entity can be a person, a product, or some other account. The data in the table is organized in rows and columns. Now, each row in a table is called a record, while every column in a table called field. And at the intersection of a record and a field, what we find is called value. Microsoft Access has its own unique object model. Access database contains four top level and one programming level object. The first object is a table that holds actual data that we store. The second object is a query which helps to sort or retrieve information based on certain criteria. To create a user interaction between the user and the application, the solution itself, we will use forms. Forms let us enter or display the data in a very customized format. On the other hand, we have another object called report. It helps to display the information or to print the information in a formatted manner. Last one is macros, which helps us to automate the task without programming. In Microsoft Access while creating a database, it is very much necessary that you must decide what kind of data is going to be stored in the table. So based on the type of the data, you need to assign a specific data type to every single field of a table. Microsoft Access has a whole range of data types. Your data can be a short text or long text. It can be a small number, it can be a large number. It can be date, time, currency. It can be a hyperlink can be a calculated field and so many other things. As we proceed through the course, we will learn more details of these data types. Every table in Microsoft Access is made up of fields, and every field has its own set of properties. The property of a field describes the characteristics and behavior of data added to that field. A field's data type is the most important property because it determines what kind of data the field can store. 
a property of a field can be the maximum size of the field, the format of the data, the decimal places, the caption of the field, and the default value. Designing a new database comes with many choices, and selecting a primary key is one of them. In fact, it's one of the most important one. The purpose of a primary key is to implement a relation between two tables. Without a primary key, a relational database would not exist. So the simple definition of a primary key is that a primary key shows the uniqueness of a record in a table. Some of the important characteristics of a primary key are, it uniquely identifies each row of a table. It is never empty or null, and the value it contains rarely changes. Be careful while selecting a primary key because it's difficult to change the primary key in a production table. Another very important concept while creating a database is data normalization. It's a process of splitting data across multiple tables. But while doing the data normalization, there are a couple of rules that you can follow. Rule number one, each cell of a table must contain only a single value and a single data type. If you look down into this part of the screen, in this table, under book title field, the person who tried to maintain this database has used quite a few data types in, in a single cell. For example, in this record, the person he wrote three crazy cabbage. We understand the three probably is the quantity of the books and crazy cabbages probably is the title of the book. So if you want to use this field for any calculation purposes, it will be pretty difficult to use the values given over here. The rule number two that we suggest is that any data that is not dependent on table's primary key, it's better to move it to a different table.